Let me ask you a question. What percentage of your sport is mental? The game of hockey is 90% mental and the other half is physical. Tennis is 70% mental and I really believe that. I think it's 90% in your head and it's 10% of your physical attributes. Probably 95% of what the game is. It's the mental skill that makes somebody that's good great or makes somebody that's great the best. At some point, you're going to meet somebody either on your team or on the opposing team that has the same level of talent as you. But what's going to separate you from them is what's between the ears, your mental game. Three clap! In order to have an elevated mindset, you need to start to see adversity as your advantage and see failure as feedback. When things aren't going well, you can get furious or you can get curious. You can become furious, start throwing your things around and have a temper tantrum. Or you can take the curious approach and start asking better questions. How did I get here? What can I do better next time? What did I learn from this experience? What if we sit back like this? What does that tell your coaches? You don't really care. And if you don't care to be here, why should they care to be here? So what's the body language you're sending to your coaches? What's the body language you're sending to your teammates? What's the body language you're sending to your opposing team? Body language screams. And if you can take this out into your life, I'm telling you right now, it's life changing. The events that happen to us are completely outside of our control. How we respond is completely inside of our control. Responding with yes and gives you the possibility to be creative, to work together, and to go to places that you've never been before. If you or your team is looking to attack the gap between where you are now and where you wanna be, contact me at dj at djhillier.com and I look forward to partnering with you.